What is up Broncos fans, the Denver Broncos show back here again to do another video. In this video I'll be previewing Super Bowl 50 which of course will be this Sunday between the Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. Uh, should be a, an incredible game. Hopefully it will be an incredible game. Uh, for me as a Broncos fan it's, it's still hard to kind of fathom and, 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 and kind of wrap my head around the fact that the Broncos are playing in Super Bowl 50. Just the significance of that that we're playing in the 50th Super Bowl. That's huge. But also the fact that you know we're here two years later after the, the debacle that happened in Super Bowl 48 against Seattle. You lose to them by 35 points. Um, and, and for us to kind of get this opportunity to once again play for the Lombardi Trophy um, and, and, and be, become world champions and, and kind of right some of those demons, so to say, that you know happened in, in Super Bowl 48. It's just it's a crazy that we're getting this opportunity. I can't state enough how proud I am of this team as a Broncos fan and, and, and the fact that they just made it this far and, and gotten back to Super Bowl 50. Um, and we got a heck of a challenge in front of us. The Carolina Panthers, at least in my opinion, were the best team in the NFL all season long. I mean, the record shows that. They were 17-1 just to to accomplish that feat of, of winning 17 out of 18 games is incredible in its own right. Obviously, Cam Newton is you know should be the MVP of the league. Has had a great year for them, um, and they're the best team in football, man. So it's uh, we're, we're we're rightfully the underdog going into Sunday. They're definitely the favorite for a reason. They're, they're the best team uh, in the NFL this season, and and they're going to present a heck of a challenge come Sunday in Super Bowl 50. Now, looking at some of the keys for the Broncos here in Super Bowl 50 against the Panthers, starting on the defensive side of the football, the the obviously biggest key for the Broncos defense in the this game is going to be to contain Cam Newton as much as possible here uh, in Super Bowl 50. Cam Newton is obviously a guy, as I just mentioned, should be named the, the league's MVP come Saturday night. Has had a, a career year for the Panthers. Is obviously a, a, a huge, huge reason, and, and maybe the main reason that this team is in Super Bowl 50 and that they you know went 17 and one. Um, and again, it's just such an incredible offensive weapon. Look at what he's done this year. It's pretty remarkable. Cam Newton, you know, completed 60% of his passes this season, threw for 3,837 yards, 35 touchdowns, and only 10 interceptions. That 35 touchdown and 10 interception marks, both those are our career best for Cam Newton. Um, and, and he also ran for 100, he had 132 rushing attempts this year, which was a career high. He ran for 636 yards, had 10 rushing touchdowns. Again, th this guy is just such an incredible offensive weapon. And the crazy thing about Cam Newton this season is he got better as the season went on. So you look at his numbers just in the second half of the season alone, games 9 through 16. Uh, in the second half of the, the regular season, he threw for 2,017 yards, completed 66% of his passes, and threw for 21 touchdowns and only one interception. So this is a guy that was pretty much flawless in the second half of the season, has really just kind of got better as the season and year has gone on, and, and really is playing his best football uh, right now at the best time, again, going into the Super Bowl. So it's going to be a heck of a challenge for our defense to, to contain Cam Newton again, should be the league's MVP this year, um, and is a guy that really, the, the Panthers offense kind of goes as he goes, so for, for the Broncos, containing Cam Newton will, will almost be like cutting uh, the head off a snake effect, so to say here, so um, containing him and, and pretty much just kind of making him primarily a pocket passer and taking away his legs, his mobility, obviously will probably be the you know most crucial thing for the Broncos defense here in this game, they, they're not, you know, they, they can't overrun the pocket here against Cam Newton, because if you do that, he'll be able to step up in the pocket and break out, you know, a huge run, uh, you know, 60, 70 yards potentially up the field, um, and gap discipline as well. The Broncos, you know, that's going to be huge for our front seven because you leave any gap uh, unfilled, Cam Newton's going to see that immediately run and, and you know, get a positive gain uh, and, again, make plays with his legs, which is something the Broncos have to desperately limit here uh, to limit the Panthers' offense because, again, they go as Cam goes. Um, and when Cam Newton does decide to run in this game, the Broncos have to make him pay. They have to punish Cam Newton when he, he runs and, and decides to scramble. Gang tackling Cam Newton and, and kind of, again, um, making him pay when, when he runs, that, that's going to be a huge uh, key as well for the Broncos' defense. And then disguising blitzes, uh, Cam Newton's one of the better guys at, at throwing against the blitz this season. So, you know, disguising our blitzes will be huge. Wade Phillips did a great job of that against Tom Brady and mixing up the coverages. Got to do that same thing here against Cam, make him think a little more, so to say, in this game. And then I'll, I'll always have an eyes on Cam Newton, having a guy spying him. I, that's obviously something I expect uh, Wade Phillips to game plan for, whether it's Dan Trevathan or Brandon Marshall, T.J. Ward. Uh, maybe it's a lineman, Derek Wolf, Malik Jackson. Just always have an eyes on Cam Newton uh, and having a spy on him. I think also something something that will be crucial for the Broncos success here uh, defensively and, and will be something uh, you know that, that you'll see the Broncos utilize here against Cam Newton keeping them 
um, out of our territory will be huge. And you look at Cam Newton uh, this season, he, he has struggled when the field is, is kind of flipped, so to say, uh, offensively for, for the Panthers. You look at Cam Newton, uh, just his numbers uh, this season, making throws in opposing territory. He's only completing 61% of his passes uh, and, and threw one touchdown, eight interceptions, was sacked 19 times again, making throws in, in opposing territory. So keeping him... Um, you know, out of our territory, and again, winning that battle of field position, putting you know uh, the, the Panthers' offense in, in situ third down situations and pinning them back will be huge, and flipping the field on them I think will be crucial for our defense. And again, disguising blitzes will be huge. Cam Newton has, has been great against the blitzes this year. He's completed 57% of his passes, thrown 19 touchdowns, only three interceptions against the blitz this season. Um, so disguising our blitzes um, and mixing up the coverages like we did against New England also will be crucial for the Broncos' defense here here in this game. Uh, in Super Bowl 50 in terms of you know their ability to contain Cam Newton. Next key for the Broncos defensively will be to, to shut down the run game here uh, for the, the, the Panthers offense. This is a team that uh, really has ran over just about anyone they faced uh, this season. Uh, the Panthers have 19 rushing touchdowns this year, which rank first in the NFL. They're the second ranked rushing offense. Jonathan Stewart is obviously a, a phenomenal, phenomenal running back there uh, for the Panthers. He rushed for 989 yards this year and six touchdowns. It's going to be crucial for us to kind of win that battle uh, you know, in the trenches and, and kind of win that battle at the point of attack. Our, our defensive line, Derek Wolf, Malik Jackson, Vance Walker, um, you know, and our, our front seven in general, Dan Javath and Brandon Marshall, those guys got to get in the, the Panthers' backfield, disrupt this run game, because again, this running game just statistically, the, it's, it's no one's been able to stop it. It's, it's a huge reason the Panthers are able to open up their passing attack, because again, because no one can stop them running the ball, and just kind of that that, that two-headed monster, again, of Stewart and Newton is, is just so st uh, tough to stop. Again, 97 rushes just for, you know, between those two guys alone this season uh, that went for first downs. And again, this is, you know, the second-ranked rushing offense in the league, 136 rushing first downs, which is best in the NFL. Um, this team kind of goes as their, their rushing game goes and their running game goes. So, again, winning that battle in the trenches. The Broncos are the third-ranked rushing defense, so, you know, we're good at stopping the run, you know, just being the more physical team. This is a great offensive line, so kind of punching them in the mouth, their defensive line, again, get in that backfield, win that that battle at the point of attack, um, and disrupt the rhythm of this run game uh, will go a long way for the Broncos' defense here in Super Bowl 50. A top five third down offense in Carolina, a top five third down defense in the Broncos. Um, so winning, again, on third down, putting them just in third down situations, so winning on first and second down, that's that's going to be even more pivotal for the Broncos than winning on third down, is just winning on those first and second downs to put them uh, in those third down situations. Um, and again, if, if you can you know, you win on third down and get them off the field, you win the battle field position, again, you, you put them kind of in an uncomfortable situation. Again, Carolina is a team that is, is used to dominating in the field position so uh, if you can do that that's also huge so winning on third down again you got a top five uh, off uh, third down offense here in Carolina a top five third down defense here uh, in Denver that's going to be a huge battle to watch and, and, and something's got to give there uh, on Sunday. The last key I think for the Broncos defense here in this game uh, against the, the Panthers in Super Bowl 50 is going to be to hold the Panthers offense to under 30 points and to kind of eliminate their big play quick strike ability here offensively in this game if we are to win. Carolina is the best scoring offense in the NFL. They ranked first in total points uh, this season in the NFL. They scored 500 points, which is just ridiculous. Um, they averaged 31.3 points per game, uh, which was also first in the NFL. So again, this is a team that scores um, pretty much at will. No one's really stopped them this year. And again, a lot of a lot of that has to do with their ability to kind of flip the field, dominate uh, field position, and, and always really be uh, in your territory and, and always be in position to score. So winning that battle position, again, is just going to be so crucial for the Broncos, whether it's Cole Quip pinning them back uh, on good punts and, and pinning them inside you know their own 20. Um, or it's, you know, our defense weighing on first and second down, getting them the third down, just getting off the field. I mean, the, the field position is going to be so, so huge uh, here against the Panthers. And again, you got to find a way to eliminate kind of that big play, quick strike, uh, you know, uh, offensive ability that this unit has because, again, this team is, you know, th th they dominate field position because they're able to really uh, hit big plays offensively. This is a team that had 11 rushes go for 20 yards or more this season. They had 53 catches go for 20 yards or more. Uh, uh, Greg Olson and Ted Ginn had 30 uh, of those 53 catches just between the two of them. So, obviously, this is an offense that has playmakers on the outside. They have a lot of speed. Cam Newton, Jonathan Stewart, Ted Ginn, Corey Brown, Greg Olson, uh, Fozzie Whitaker, Cameron Sardis-Payne. There's a lot of speed 
on this offensive unit. Um, so holding the Panthers to under 30 points and, and again, kind of eliminating the big play uh, ability and quick strike, so to say, of this offense to, to kind of control the field position might be the biggest biggest key with the exception of obviously containing Cam Newton uh, for the Broncos defense here come Sunday night. If you know the Panthers score over 30 points or they rush over 100 yards and, and they beat us on third down, there's probably no way uh, we're going to win win this game. So uh, the, the, I'm, I'm so intrigued to just watch how our defense plays against this offensive unit in Cam Newton. Um, and again, it should be an awesome, awesome battle to watch play out uh, come Sunday again in Super Bowl 50. But taking care of the ball probably will be the biggest priority offensively here uh, for the Broncos offense against the Panthers defense. The Panthers ranked first this year in the NFL in turnover differential. They had 39 takeaways, which was the most in the NFL. They had 24 interceptions, which ranked first in the NFL. Um, and, you know, they, they had 24, uh, 24 forced fumbles and 15 fumbles recovered, which was tied for first in the NFL. So this is a very opportunistic defensive unit. They put you in positions to make mistakes. They obviously have talent all over the board. They're secondary. Kurt Coleman, Josh Norman, uh, then they got Luke Keekley and Thomas Davis, and then, you know, you got Starlo Tulele, Kawan Short, Jared Allen. Um, I mean, there's just talent all over the place for, 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 for this defensive unit. Again, they are the, the best at, at uh, forcing you into mistakes, and then obviously their offense is, is you know, the best at, at, at you know, uh, capitalizing off those mistakes and making you pay off those mistakes. So taking care of the ball will be a huge, huge uh, key for the Broncos. Again, the Panthers have 39 takeaways, which was the most in the NFL this season, um, and the Broncos had 31 giveaways, which was third uh, most in the NFL this season. So we give the ball away pretty frequently, at least we did this season. Valuing the ball um, and taking care of the ball, having no turnovers, uh, going to be huge for the Broncos offense here uh, against the extremely opportunistic Panthers defense. Next key for the Broncos offense here in Super Bowl 50 will be obviously to run the ball um, and run it effectively. The Broncos kind of struggled running the ball against New England in the AFC title game. Luckily for us, C.J. Anderson hit a, a big 30-yard run in the fourth quarter, which, which kind of, uh, I guess, made our, our rushing uh, yards look better than they actually were in that game. Um, so, you know, r rushing the ball again against a, a phenomenal front seven and a phenomenal uh, uh, defense that the, the, that the Panthers possess is going to be a hell of a challenge. But if we can't run the ball here offensively, um, we're not going to be able to do much against this defense. So running the ball is going to be crucial. Uh, the Broncos, again, were, were kind of hit or miss this season in terms of their effectiveness rushing the ball. We were the 17th ranked rushing offense. We averaged 4.2 yards per carry as a team, which ranked 13th in the NFL. So, again, we were kind of middle of the pack rushing uh, team. And, and you can't be, you know, an, an average running the ball here on, on Sunday if you want to be, become world champs, especially, again, here against a Panthers defense that has a great front seven and who has a great linebacker. Corn is great at stopping the run. They were they were ranked fourth against the run defensively uh, this season. They only gave up an average of 3.9 yards per carry, which was was ranked seventh uh, in the NFL. But they only had 364 rushing attempts against them this season, which was third fewest. So running the ball a lot and running the ball successfully, kind of wearing down this defense. I don't think it's something they've had to deal with. So ru ru hopefully, if we're able to run the ball effectively, we then can run the ball a lot and, and again really kind of wear down this defense here. Um, and, and again, this will also allow us to control field position, flip the field when we need to, and control the time of possession. Keep our defense off the field, you know, allow them to, to stay rested and, and stay as fresh as possible throughout the game, and keep Cam Newton off the field primarily in that Panthers offense and that offensive line. Um, and, and, and hopefully, you know, in, in doing that, running the ball effectively, you control the time of possession, you control the tempo of the game, and then you, you never allow the, the Panthers offense to get in a rhythm, and, and then you tire out their defense. So kind of, you know, our offensive line, probably worries me more than any team or, or any aspect of our team going into this game. Um, and they got a heck of a challenge going against this, this Panthers front seven, and, and they're really going to have to, to, to probably play uh, the, the toughest, most physical uh, that they've played all season long here if, if we're going to have any success rushing the ball here against this Panthers front seven. And the last keys for the Broncos offense here uh, going into Super Bowl 50 uh, will be to protect Peyton Manning, keeping him uh, off the turf, and, and to get Demaryius Thomas going uh, in this game, especially early on here against the Panthers defense. Again, this is a, a great Panthers defense. They're opportunistic. They, they, they have so much talent at each level. Great secondary um, you know, great linebacking core, great defensive line, um, and they're great at, at rushing the passer, and, and they're great at getting to the passer as a team. They had 44 sacks this season defensively, which ranked sixth, uh, sixth in the NFL, um, and a big reason uh, for that was Kwan Short, their defensive tackle, 350-pound uh, monster in the middle for this defense out of Purdue, uh, is probably one of the best young defensive tackles, and probably just one of the best defensive linemen uh, in general in the NFL today. He had 11 of those 44 sacks for the Panthers this season, um, so taking him away 
way um, will, will be huge in terms of, of, of protecting Peyton and giving him enough time uh, to, to make throws and go through his reads. Um, you you got to, you know, you got to slow the, this Panthers pass rush, pass rush down. Again, it all starts, again, with that monster in the middle. Kawan Short had 11 sacks this year, so whether we double-team him, uh, Matt, you know, Matt Paradis, uh, Louis Vasquez, Max Garcia, Evan Mathis, our interior offensive line, they're going to have their hands full uh, with, with Short. And again, whether we double-team him, whatever we got to do, we got to find a way to limit him because if we can limit him, we're going to definitely limit the Panthers' ability uh, to, to get to Peyton Manning and, and, and to rush uh, the passer here in this game. And again, get, get DT involved. DT only has uh, six catches right now for 52 yards in the in the two playoff games this year. Um, so getting him involved, he, he really hasn't played well as of late. Uh, he's going to be probably covered by Josh Norman, so that's going to be a heck of a battle. DT's got to be physical, um, really not back down at all, um, and, and hopefully make plays. And there's a reason we gave DT $70 million in the offseason you know, on that five-year contract extension, and uh, he needs to go out there and earn his money on Sunday. Again, he's got a great battle. Uh, but you know he he's one of our you know biggest playmakers offensively, um, and you know he he's he's got to show that man. He's got to show up on Sunday again. The Broncos got to do their best to to get him involved, hopefully early and often, and maybe that will get him in kind of a in, into a rhythm of things and, and get him going. Because uh, you know he doesn't show up uh, again, you know against this defense, it could be a long night. So, so that's my preview for Super Bowl Fifty, of course, which again goes down this Sunday between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. Cannot wait to watch it. It's, again, just so great that the Broncos are in this position, have this opportunity, and uh, hopefully we can, can write those you know demons from two years ago in Super Bowl 48. And I think we're in a great position to do it. I mean, this, this game has a different feel. You know, I, I just want you know, the Broncos to kind of enjoy this experience more. And they, they seem like they're doing that. You know, they, 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 they seem a lot more loose, so to say, uh, you know, during this Super Bowl week than they were uh, during Super Bowl 48. And, look, we got a lot of guys playing in this game that didn't play in that game. Von Miller, uh, Chris Harris, Derek Wolf. I mean, there's a lot of guys, you know, Keeb Tlaib, T.J. Ward, um, that, that you know weren't available for Super Bowl 48 that we now have you know DeMarcus Ware so uh, to have all these guys you know to experience this and you know just have a, a good time and and you know we're the underdog man we got none to lose that's definitely kind of a role reversal from, from Super Bowl 48 everyone's expecting the Panthers to smash us they're 17-1 again so we got none to lose and um, you know just just hope we, we play well and, and, and do all we can, and, and uh, you know, again, I consider it a, a victory just to get to this point this season. So leave me a comment below whether you're a Broncos fan, Panthers fan. Um, what do you think of this game? What do you think of this matchup between the Panthers and Broncos? And uh, how you feeling going into Super Bowl 50? We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Um, and as always, go Broncos. Good luck to the Panthers on Sunday. Got nothing but respect for their fans and their team. Great organization. Um, and, and what they've done this year is, is remarkable. And, and they will be a, a, a hell of a hell of a, a challenge for us come Sunday. So enjoy the game, guys. Let's go Broncos. Hopefully bring that Lombardi uh, trophy back to the Mile High City.